Well, stupid me wanted to jump the pit, but I guess we're not doing that now. Hello. Hello, lover. Hello. How you doing? Oh, it blew up the gear. I didn't realize it was going to do that. Oh, shit. How you doing? I'm okay happy I finally made a cooking stream. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit slow going. I mean, frittatas only take so much time and I had to go and clean up the kitchen after, which I wanted to actually have that done beforehand, but... It looked amazing. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. Is that a show blade? I saw the gravestone. Woohoo, I hear too who. Hey there, B. How you doing? That's right. The armor has blueprints I need to find for him. I S A E N L. Yes. Yes. There's always an owl by the entrance to the pit. Doing okay was wishing this process was a little more simple, but that's my fault for being finicky. I wanted the box, damn it! Oh well. They look like a trap room. Any games with owls are worth it. You ever played Owl Boy? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. If you look through my archive, I think I have a full playthrough of that. <coughs> I haven T. Years to make it and it's very pretty. Look it up on Steam Owl Over.
I am off to. I can get it on PS instantly, mime now. Ha 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 ha. The team that made, uh... But I looked up Godless <coughs> Clerics and it's a popular thing actually TH Edition has a thing in the DM guide about forces and philosophy. Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that be... Because in version 3 of D&D, &D, they actually had a straight up, like... It wasn't even, like, a special addendum or anything in the player's handbook. It was basically, like... Here's what all the different gods represent. If you want to play a certain type of cleric, just pick a god that, you know, embodies this certain domain. And they had all of them. Well, actually, every cleric got two domains. And it was like a giant menu that was just all these lists of these columns. It's like, here's this type of element, here's the bonuses and spells they get. And here's this type of element, here's the bonuses and spells that they get. And whatever type of cleric you want to play, you Not just... Not all divine powers need to be derived from deities. In some campaigns, believers hold enough conviction in their ideas about the universe that they gain magical power from that conviction. Mm -hmm. In other campaigns, impersonal forces of nature or magic replace the gods by granting power to mortals attuned to them, just as druids and rangers can gain their spell ability from the force of nature rather than from a specific nature deity. Some clerics devote themselves to ideals rather than to a god. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it's just in version 3, they embraced that a lot more. <coughs> oh, fuck. Can't do it to a mod. Sorry. What's the specifications on this? Okay, wait, you have to do it. I mean, it's a channel redeem. Um, are you good for for 5 minutes of just chilling there? I mean, I know we're talking D&D, &D, but the timeout effect is only for five minutes, so... I can just leave, I guess. Well, I mean, you don't need to leave. Timeout just means you can't chat for five minutes, that's all. It's only a five-minute limit, if you're, if you're okay with that. I mean, I know we're talking D&D, &D and we're trying to get this, this... Oh no, I have caused problems. It's okay. It's it's only it's only five minutes. I know you want you want clarity on this cleric, but if you can just you know hang out for five and then we continue the convo, then are you are you all right with that, B? Yeah. Okay. I will even set a timer. If it, Owl Lover, if it was honestly like a big issue, then I would just say it's not happening right now and I would refund you the channel points. So don't worry about it. R.I.P. Squeak B, you will be missed for minutes. I still got my loot satchel, yay! This is a trap, isn't it? Never leave the loot behind. Tell you, oh my good night, I have too much to carry. Care to take some of this off my hooves? 
It wasn't a trap. Cool. More attractive to get better deals at shops. Maybe it could help you elsewhere, too. We're on this together after all. Well, that's not really true, is it? But the sentiment is there. I missed the gear, damn it. <coughs> when did they add a premium premium option to the PlayStation Plus subscription? Well, I have no clue on that. I, I don't do PlayStation, so... I've got, I've got no ideas on that one. Oh, time to go. $100 a year, I can't afford that for more than years. Oh, you can't afford that for now. But that's only once per year, you know. Which means you have a whole year to go and renew it. those last ones. Okay. So much for the glass egg. Take the health on this one, which sucks, but that's okay. Um, Gastronomal, yeah. Treasure nugget, that's cool. Welcome back, B. How you doing? One health, one and a half health. Filling out a character sheet. Oh, by the way, B, did I tell you I think this might actually be a prequel? Shovel Knight dig, I mean. Really cool. Be 
because Welcome back from the Void B. When you um when you encounter what's his face, Tinker Knight, uh he goes, Oh a shovel or a, a knight with a spade, now I've seen everything. And it's like, if this was a sequel, he would already know Shovel Knight. In fact, when you play the original Shovel Knight, Shovel Knight knows most of the other knights that he faces. Before he met Shield Knight. No. No, he already knew, Sh he knows Shield Knight in here. And he knew Shield Knight before the events of the original Shovel Knight. He lost her. Um, and that's what started everything. And they're trying to... Like what the, was that piranha plant looking thing? Some enemy? I'm not sure. Yes, I know that big girlfriend in the original. Yeah. But, you know, he already knew her. And if you look th in the background, this gem, the thing you pick up after the boss battle and the, like, stripey tentacles it's in, look a lot like the horns of the, the Enchantress. But if this a prequel, it would have made sense if he hasn't he met her yet. Why not? The whole reason, or the the prologue of original Shovel Knight is him losing Shield Knight to a dark power. So he already knows her here, and this is going to lead up to the events that cause him to lose her. It's big brain time. I know I am getting to that. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry for the confusion. My, my, aren't you looking sweet at discount for you? Please, my treat. Cadvolt. Two and a half health. Maximum health by one. I guess I mean they are trying to keep it vague that this is a prequel because it would have made it obvious if it was if he had met here during this game. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. That makes sense.
because I think that's what's gonna happen. He keeps saying he's trying to reach the burrow, and Shield Knight was like, what's the burrow? And he's like, I don't know, but I know that I need to get my, my, um, my bag back, and I can't reach it if I don't have the bag. And the, the Hexcavators, the ones who took his bag, are using the gems for something, and, the, and nobody knows what yet. But... Uh, Shield Knight was like, oh, there is some sort of, like, dark power at play here. Oh, I should have waited for the dragon, oh well. Well, fuck you, dude. So yeah, I'm suspecting this is not just a prequel, but, um, the thing that is directly setting stuff in motion for the events of the next game. Or the previous one, I guess. Having a Shovel Knight Trainer 2 also plays in favor to it. Oh, the... Like, the fact that he's, like, not entirely versed in shovelry yet. No! Yes. Damn it! Ah, I killed him too fast. Yeah. Fuck, how- oh. Okay. <laughs> I was panicking for a minute. How the hell am I supposed to get back across? The, the platform carries you. It's, it's not that big a deal, Alex. Come on.
hope the treasure was worth it, Alex. You're almost dead. To, nice of them to give us an egg right here. Hello, how are you liking these so far? Um, D Karma 12. I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm enjoying it a fair amount. Have you been playing this? What are your opinions on it? What do the eggs do? I've just been playing myself. So you need to get the egg to a nest, and if you do, then it hatches. And this little blue thing I have following me around is what came I out of it. I enjoyed the first shovel night, and I'm really like this one. So if you get the eggs to... Um... Hmm. <coughs> if you get the eggs to a nest, they hatch into something. I've had multiple eggs hatched. Do the guys help you in combat? Oh, okay. Um, sometimes. Like this little blue one here. He will attack certain enemies. I think the only way I can get past this dude is to beat him. I don't want to spend this much time on the fucker. Yo, that's a shovel knight cal back with that boss. Yeah, yeah, like World 1. Even the little bird is a callback. Because that thing is one of the bitey enemies towards the end of the game in the final castle. Well, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Thank you for the follow. D Karma. And like that, you get a, you know, trapple. So the little blue one will attack enemies and also acts as a shield. There are certain points where you might take damage, but instead it takes the damage for you. Uh, the trapples are essentially portable health. If you've taken damage and you stand still, they will go and they'll give you a kiss, and when they do, you take you get one point of health back. Come on guys, do the thing. Please. Wow, that S awesome. Uh, I guess they aren't gonna do it right now. Whatever. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> well, food it is, that's fine. So yeah, the, the eggs do different things depending upon what you hatch, and they, they, they change, you know, it just, it just, it varies. 
but... Oh, fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Shit, I didn't realize there were spikes there. I'm loving it. I want that gear, but it's going to take too long to get it. The graphics are awesome, the polish on the sprites. Yeah, I think they went for a Sega, Sega Genesis feel on, uh, on this one. As opposed to, like, you know, NES, uh, style. Um... Oh... Encrusted relic, sling under reveal the relic inside. Boy, and I'm almost about to die. Um... I can't even afford that. In fact, none of these are really worth it. More health, please, fishes. You know what? Actually, this might be enough that I can get through. Oh, the digger is coming. Didn't even have any gears? Really? Ah, uh, fuck. That sucked. Unless I get really lucky, I'm toast now. Have you played Zelda Link Between Worlds? Uh, I have not, actually. That's one of the ones I've wanted to. Um... You may like it. I'm a, I'm a fan of Link to the Past, so yeah, a lot of people have said that I would. Judging from your list. This feels like a trap. Mm-hmm. I've been playing Link Between Worlds again recently, and I've actually never beaten it. I did play the, um... What's it called? Cadence of Hyrule. Love the sound effects. Fuck, fuck. Huh? 
somehow Shovel Knight is classic and nostalgic already. Well, I mean, it absolutely fed into the, the old school feel that a lot of, like, classic, you know... Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Yeah. I was trying to get on the platform before he electrified the water. It didn't happen. <sighs> GG. Thank you. I may need to give my dog a talking to. I'm a retro gamer, I'm in my ass. Hold on, hold on just a moment. I need to shut my dog up. Just just one second, sorry. Sorry about that. <coughs> My dog's a good dog, but sometimes she gets a little overprotective, and I don't want her raising a ruckus and, and getting complaints from neighbors. <sighs> yeah, I'm in my 30s as well. I turned 37 in November. So... Um, and I, I do dig retro style games, but for me, I'm really big about the, uh, the indie games. Oh, crap. I mean... You do have a lot, I mean, like, a lot of retro-style games that have got traction lately, right? Um, like, just... Damn, when was it? Last week? I was playing, um, Freedom Planet 2. And both, uh, Freedom Planet and... Freedom Planet 2 have, uh... I'm a sucker for anything that appeals to the retro look, even HDD like Octopath Traveler and now upcoming. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. I, I actually have Octopath Traveler in my library, I just haven't played it yet. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the, the list on, like, how large my library is, but it is, is big. I need to, um... That's why one of my big goals now is just basically, like, clear out as many games as I can. Oh! The digger approaches! the Samus and the retro SNES Luigi in the background. Thank you, thank you. They're, um... <coughs> I'll take the Luigi off the wall. Not for that very reason, I'm not going to take off Samus. Um, so it's actually the, the background is, is painted 
but the pixel art is is uh, perler beads. Um, and the Samus one is a big deal. The person who who made it it comes with a certificate of authenticity. They will only ever make three of them. So. Hmm, what an odd statue. You suppose something might happen if we place something on the altar? Wow, that is so cool. Alright, what do I place on the altar though? I have... Well, maybe I don't have enough money to make it work, so... Um, let's try the equipment. I think I can get away with what help I have for now. Oh, it's him! Okay, so you get a little more, like, hoverability with, uh, shovel swings, but not much. I can still make use of that. And the mines explode if you touch them. Got it. Yes. Away just in time. Okay. So Karma, if you like um, if you like retro games, what what kind? I guess one of the big big questions would be, do you have any guilty pleasures? And by that I mean retro games that a lot of people um, recognize as garbage that you might even say, or a lot of people call garbage, you might even recognize as garbage. Like, yeah, these games are not well done, but it doesn't change the fact that, you know, you like them. Are there any retro games, old or new, that that might be sleepers? Things that um, people might might not be that, uh, let's say, familiar with, that are actually like really good. 
because I, I really like that kind of stuff. Fucker made me lose my leftover treasure. Ow. I am not doing great tonight. <laughs> mm. <coughs> By the way, you still there, B? How's your cleric coming along, if you are? I am. Well, there goes that key. Going okay slow cause it's already been a long day and I am just running a little slow. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Just checking on how you're doing. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have gone after the crab. I didn't, I didn't need those little gold pieces. I saw the jellyfish there and I was like, oh, it's going to electrocute the water. I shouldn't go in. And right as I thought that, it did. And then I panicked and got myself killed. Cool. Pogo off the... Alright, then I have no way of getting that gear. I get... Except for that block that got uncovered after I... Whatever. Trowel I like. I dig that. 
Dynamo Gun. Oh! Oh, so every time it has one of those little uh, satchels that's equipment. Okay. No! Mm -mm. Okay. Don't panic, Alex. Don't panic, Alex. This is okay. Fuck. I didn't have to take that guy out, but he had hurt me, or they, it, it had been so frustrating not being able to deal with them before for so long. That one was going down. Boom rock trigger! Okay. Oh, I just realized the fountainhead in the background is actually the Trapple King. Also cool. Get back here! I avoided the digger and I got hit from the above. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a break too, B. That would. Mm. Oh, that last one was frustrating. That last one was frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. I. To be able to bounce on top of it and actually survive, and then get taken out by it trying to move around afterwards. It's definitely aggravating. Okay. Back in just a few minutes.
Oh, there we go. And put a drink on the display. There we are. Oh no, actually we want to talk with a uh, whisker. Stop it. <sighs> Energy that's quick and clean, I only offer a cuisine. Oh yes, that's what we want. Um to get treasure and a key. be a trap room? Only a little.
I'm good on health, so we're gonna go with that. Don't die, don't die. I don't think I need Chester. Help? Yes, please. Frogs or fish? Let's go with fish. They're annoying, but the frogs electrify all the water, so. Dragon! I don't care. Just go. Just go. I supposed to get over those? Oh, I'm in the water. Oh, it fucks with my movement too much. Let's try. Let's try going to the. Um, fire area. Careful, boy. One false step in that hole and snap! You and all your things belong to the well now. I've seen it happen.
No eggs to hatch, though. Okay. back to me. I hope you had a good whatever it was you were doing. Pooping hell yet. Well, I hope it was a fantastic poop. Once again, one of these things, like, I need to have some kind of equipment to use it, I think. Whoa, okay. TBH it's my least favorite human thing to do usually I am caught in the middle of a hyper focus s and everything has to come to a screeching halt just because shitting yourself is frowned upon. I understand B. Once again, find a nest at the start of the level, no eggs. Going back to Waterland. Uh, man, I am really sucking at this. I was doing so much better the first evening. Maybe I haven't had enough to drink. Got, gotta get those those brain juices going. I don't know.
Yeah drinking booze to solve problems never goes wrong. Thank you guys. Well, what's what's the phrase? Something like uh, alcohol, because no fun story ever started with, and I had a glass of water. enough to, to get some equipment. Resist explosions, I like that. Sounds more like a challenge than not being fun. Um, I mean, even if that is the case, I mean, when it comes to a challenge, look at the types of games I play, B. To um, knights go and, and get dunked because fuck. Because I set off the next thing and they landed on the spikes. That was uh, that was pretty awesome. Okay, let's keep it moving. I didn't even get to keep the thing I got. That sucks. All right. If I go through here, that should despawn the thing. And I don't want to try again, because I'll die. Perfect. Full health, please. Super chicken! Oh, did I get some blueprints? Yes! There we go, first blueprints found.
fuck. Why was there a little geyser there? That was odd. a lot of time getting that gear when I could just pop the thing and use the dragons, but okay. done bad under the circumstances, so... Ah, such maneuverability, the proper gear makes all the difference in water operations. So is that it? You and your band of ruffians are here to pillage ruins. Hey, somebody's got to, or these treasures will be lost forever. What erodes every- water erodes everything, you know. It doesn't even have to be a slow process. Allow me to demonstrate with Tomorrow, a quick pressure Tomorrow before D&D you want to get together and help me roll the stats. Um, oops. Fuck! He hits hard. Um... Is this something normally done with the DM? Sorry, just going by what we did last time. <coughs> it doesn't have to be. Uh, last time it was just a, a guided process, basically, to make it easier for everybody to follow along with what was happening. Um, you don't have to do it. I trust you not, not to, you know, fudge your rolls. Um, okay. You take four D6s and you roll them, and then you drop the lowest number. Um, so if it's like a six, a five, a four, and a three, you get rid of the three, and then you add the other three together. Um, and you do that six times. So it gives you six different numbers. And then um, do it two more times, except... Um, this time you'll you'll roll five d six and you'll drop the two lowest numbers, um, and then out of those remaining, you pick the six numbers you want to keep, and those become your stats. Does that make sense?
I will look it up that was a lot of info and I absorbed none of it but I will figure it out. Okay. Um, we'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll do it tomorrow then. Um... Because it won't take long. What time will work best for you? I was just suggesting an hour before DND, &D, even a half hour. Oh, um. I'll tell you what, I'll hit you up when I'm up. Because the sooner you can get your stats down, the sooner you can calculate how everything else goes. I mean, if I learn it myself, I will retain it better. I don't want to eat up your time. Well, the thing is, what I do is a slightly modified, slightly more generous version of the regular D&D stats. will be better against Mole Knight. Okay, so under those circumstances I need to literally run up until the wall of the drill thing and then jump over. Okay. At least I have it down now. No! You little dickhead! Next time I need to go to the surface, I need to take a look at what the uh, armorer has to offer with his um, upgrade. Found my template now. I can craft you the streamline mail if you have the coin. Har har. Earn a free accessory every stage, but without side rooms. You can't visit all the areas in one run. 
that kind of sucks. Fallen battle bags of money pop out of you. No joke, and trust me, you want to grab them on your next trip. I got some free gems out of it. <laughs> Never mind, here's an egg. Spike-proof sabatons! Ah, oh, some of my favorites. Well, only spike-proof for your feet, though. You gotta remember that. people on which technique shall we focus? Find my tomb up above. I don't see... I don't know. I haven't been able to locate it anywhere. Look at the gear this time, I'm only down one health. Platter charm food will appear more often. Alright. Some damp chicken. Perfect.
Fuck. Only two health down. Does that mean I get? Does that mean I get the benefits of both? I can move faster and I can walk on spikes. Dig under you. Fuck that shit. No! Yes? Okay, so the scoop boots seem cool. I'm sure they're useful. I mean, I know they're useful. But they don't feel that way right off the bat because it makes it a little harder to control where I'm moving. How's it going? Energy that's quick and clean, I only offer high cuisine. Yes. Delicious snow as you dry hit the floor. Two and a half or two. Yeah, we're just looking at top of our health. Perfect. Resist fire damage. Oh, I'm sure I'll need that against fucking fish mole here. Cheers. it into guacamole Ellie. Guacamole, yes.
Wait a minute, there's more. Yeah. Okay. What's that do? It's like a little shovel knight slime. Having my little slime friend here is weirding me out sometimes. I couldn't reach it. But, oh. I got it now, okay. Wait. Don't wait. Go down. Go. Ah! I was doing so well. That was awesome, and, and the drill grinder kills you in one hit. Okay. I don't know if that really accomplished anything, but okay. I did it. Yeah, I did it!
It's almost like the game is taunting me. Hey, you want a repeat of the last area that killed you? I think the worst thing... ...is knowing that, like, I saw the hidden pathway. And 90% of the time, when you have a hidden path... It's good news, right? It means it's a side room. And if it's a side room... It, the, the, the big digger doesn't matter because it's gonna... Um, it's gonna get despawned. So you'll be safe. So I was like, this, this, is, this is perfect. I can just get the gear and head back up and hit that side room. And then despawn the, the, the digger, and then I'll be safe. Except in this one instance, it wasn't. Oh, but it was still there. Well, because it didn't go to a side room. Instead, it was just... Like, when I say a side room, I'm talking about one of these things where the screen scrolls over and I have the, like, mole stand, or, like, a person in a room, or a trap room, or whatever. But the hidden wall didn't go to a side room. It just opened up the wall that had some, like, gold gems, and that was it. Sorry I've been focusing on other stuff, so sorry if I've been missing things. Oh, it's all good, it's all good. I'm just, I'm just talking and describing. Do I want the shields? I'm not low on health, so that isn't worth it. <sighs> Fuck it, let's get the magic. That's a good find. I missed the gear, let's just face facts, okay. One, that's gonna be some help. That's better than nothing, so... Frogs of fish! We'll go fish.
Oh, that was a double dirty trick. Get the thing! Okay. Could have been better, but... Relics have twice as many uses. Woohoo. If I actually have a relic, that'll be great. But I think I'm gonna be going in there without a relic. Just full health. Which isn't bad, but if I would have had the thing that brings me back, then I would have really had a, you know, day wrecker at my disposal. BRB again. No sweat bee, damn it. Okay, so big sploosh. I'm sorry you missed it. Oh. Find it is the only way to reach the burrow. Shh, it's okay, I'm right here. Burrow, what's going on? My mind feels clouded. Perhaps it's the air down here. I apologize for rushing ahead without you. That drill toting burglar, he has no intention of returning my bag. That gemstone we had in there, the hexcavators were stealing others just like it. What are they planning? I don't know, but those gemstones, they worry me. It's almost like an odd force is compelling me to dig further down the well. Dark magic is at work here, no doubt. Be on your guard. I could trip to drill night before long. Could have gone down either path. Well, I can't go down that path. So I gotta go down the other one with one hit point. The grub pit.
Oh no, is that far away tower beginning to sink? Is this the end of the world? What just happened? Is it is it over? Oh hey, Hoofman, good news is your shop is still standing. Ah, the excavator's undermining is going to too far. Stop Drill Knight's heist, but don't keep digging. <sighs> oh, that's right. Let's talk to Whisker real quick. That's 800. That's fine for now. Okay, it's top of the hour. Time for me to take a quick break. BRB back in a few minutes.
back. Let's put another cocktail on the display. <sighs> Top up a fresh cocktail. And then we'll go back into insect land. Please be very secure. Okay, I am back, but gonna be lurking. No problem, B. I, uh, I beat Mole Knight, by the way. Couldn't tell by the fact that I'm in, like, insect land. Oh, good. Uh, thank you. Here S hoping you one T have to mulligan him too soon. Wait a minute. Ah <coughs> uh, ha ha. Ow! Okay, never mind that. I can't make that jump. It's okay you don't have to tell me I'm funny I already know. Well good. What's up, big shawarma? Shawarma. Ah, 
How's it going, 37? More grubs, damn it. Going gold, bro, bro, making Minecraft skins and shivs. Oh, that's cool. Man, it's been ages since I've done that. like a trap. Okay.
apple season, if you please. The greatest treasures grown on trees. Maximum health by one. One health. Pre-owned apple and holy apple. I want that one. But I can't even afford it yet, so... That'll ditch the little buzz soft. All right, fucker, let's go. Come on, come on, or not. Oh, that was so productive. Crap. Some way to engage those spiders without having to like ping pong shit, that'd be great. Those spikes instant death? <laughs>
Okay. Okay, at least this time I earned enough that I'm not, like, losing money when I uh, fast travel to this part of the game. So, good enough for now. <coughs> I've done that. Thanks, Chester. I'm probably gonna die and lose all my gold. Or my gems, I should say. It won't matter. So that's a net loss of about 100 to keep going from this area.
Alright, so if you get low enough, you can actually just whack the spiders. Which is good to know! Yeah, fuck you. Already a thousand, so hopefully that means hopefully that means we'll have enough that I have like eight hundred left over. Probably not. Thank goodness. <coughs> as long as it's over 800, then I know I have enough to get the ticket back down to this area. Hey, it's not coming out of my banked gems. Don't go down the pit yet, thank you. Hard to eat right when you're going full throttle, so try my convenient cuisine in a bottle! Well, jelly, five health. Ooh, that's cool. Three, or increases your maximum health by one. That's a lot, but okay. So much for that extra health.
What's that? Forget that guy. Yes, good. Oh. Skeletons now? I mean, that's kind of cute, not gonna lie. It's not worth that diamond, though. Going full throttles. Try my convenient food to bottle, yeah. Three hearts. Can I do it? Yeah, I can. Okay. Fuck. Aww. 
Okay. Motherfucker. Crabs! We're going for crabs, I think. So I can't tell what I mean like I don't like the bees. I don't like the bees. Not the bees! Not the bees! for this. The drilling arm is probably gonna... Yep, there it is. There it fucking is. <laughs> Excuse me, what? That worked? That is such bullshit! I wanted the gear! I wanted the gear, and it's like I was hitting an invisible barrier up above. It's like it wouldn't let me go back. Even after I, I hit something and get that altitude. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Mm. Okay, I think we'll do, we'll do one more run, maybe two. If, if one of them ends up being really shitty, and then uh, and them taking a break.
hello. Jess, hello! You're, you're coming in, as per usual, right when I'm about to take a break. I'm sorry. But how are you doing? How's your night treating you? Ha ha ha, it's my ammo. Well, at this point, it seems to be everybody's ammo. Raid incoming? So, some, somebody coming in to pay a visit? Say hi? Doesn't matter. Alex is going to take a break. <sighs> but yeah, how you doing? How you been? How have, uh... Uh, and I'm all out of eggs. Okay, so I can't hatch anything. This sucks. How, how's, uh, how's your day been going? How's, how's life treating you? How are you feeling? Like, really, how are you feeling? Do I push my luck? Yeah, I'll go for the equipment. Might as well. Resist I've lightning. been feeling okay. Slept for like hours yesterday. LOL. Damn. Oh, hey, if you're able to catch up on that rest, then good on you. That's one of the things I hate. My stupid body is like, oh, what's that? You're exhausted? You feel like you could sleep for 12 hours? Yeah, give it a try. Oh. That's right, you can't. LOL, you know I barely sleep. I know, but still, like... So ours was like a marathon for me. But that's the thing, that's part of like why I'm envious, because even stupid me, who's tired all the time, who feels like I'm, I'm tired enough that I could sleep for 12 hours, no, nope, my body won't let it happen. What's that? You haven't even got eight? Well, how about we just give you six? Cool. That sounds great. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's one of the things I've, like, that's been not just an issue for a while, but that I've suspected. So I have some form of narcolepsy, which, like, everybody... Oh, it's a trap room. Not these fuckers. No. No. I don't want to play with you guys! <sighs> There's this misunderstanding that a lot of people think, like, narcolepsy means you literally just, like, f can fall asleep standing up. <laughs> but that's a very rare case. You, those people don't actually even fall asleep most of the time. It's just like random sleep paralysis. Um, most of the time narcolepsy means that your body just doesn't get the rest it's supposed to. Um, even when you get like full night's sleep and... Oh, hey! They're here now! You're the first line of defense, Spornite. How come so much riffraff ends up in the secret fountain? My fungus needs a specific soil composition to thrive, and all these diggers are ruining it. You wouldn't get it. That's... that's funny. That's funny. Oh, and he's cold. Probably because he has the fish armor. Um... But yeah, it's like... Um... Is this a sequel? Well, that's funny. Um, as I've been playing it, I think this might act. It, it's unclear. When you start up, all you know is that Shovel Knight had his bag of goods taken by Drill Knight. And you're chasing him down the well to try and get them back. But I think this might actually be a prequel. There are certain things that kind of lean in that direction. But the, the big thing is, when I reached the, uh, the Forge stage... I did, I didn't beat him, but I managed to encounter uh, Tinker Knight. And he made the comment, Oh, knight with a spade? Now I've seen everything. 
And it was like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, in the last game, he would have known you already. In fact, in the last game, like, most of the knights already know Shuffle Knight. So why would he make a comment like that? And there have been other things, like, whenever you get the big, like, special gems that kind of look like the fucking, like, Chaos Emeralds or whatever, <coughs> you pick them up and they have these, like, uh, it's just for like a frame or two these tentacles that come out of them with like stripes on them or in the background they're held in these horns that have stripes and these all match the um, the black and purple stripe pattern of the Enchantress the villain of the first game and Shovel Knight is constantly like oh I need to get to the burrow I feel like I'm being compelled to dig and collect these gems so I think um these gems are drawing both him and the hexcavators, the knights that are trying to dig shit up, um, to go down, and I believe this is going to lead up to the event where Shield Knight becomes the Enchantress. Um, again, right now, just a theory. I haven't beat it yet, and I haven't gone digging for evidence, so I don't know. But right now, it looks like it's a prequel. We shall see. Anyway, it's break time. I'll be back in a few minutes. What was your dinner? Tell, tell me about it. Tell me about it. I'll read when I get back. My dinner lol it was chopped chicken thighs that sautéed with celery onions and garlic in a creamy sauce that was served over stuffing I ate like 3 bites because new meds have my tummy fucky but it tasted good.
What did you have? Okay, let's see here. Put another cocktail on the display. Uh, it was chopped chicken thighs uh, sautéed with celery, onions, and garlic in a creamy sauce that served over stuffing. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't get to eat much. <laughs> Obviously, I, you know, I have experience with a nasty gut, so... Yeah. Um... For us, it was just McDonald's. <coughs> um, my schedule got kind of compromised today, and um, it was. Uh, my, my girlfriend went out to lunch with her dad, so, um, okay, it just became a, like, you know, let's just, let's just grab something. And it's going to be a repeat tomorrow since D&D. &D. I usually... Um, I, I shouldn't get anxious over it, but I do. So I end up just uh, panicking throughout the day and trying to get ready. <laughs> and um, part of it's just a mental thing, like not having to worry about making dinner. Um, alleviating that stress means that you know, I can I can focus on uh, getting ready for the game. Sorry it stresses you out so much. 
I mean, it really shouldn't, all things considered, but it's, it's just my nature, I guess. What is your go-to MCDS order? Quarter pounder with cheese. Um, I used to get like... Fuck, I missed the gear. Okay. Um, I used to get extra onions and pickles on it until I found out they started charging extra for that, which is like, they're fucking vegetables. Who cares? Um, <coughs> and since they never put mustard on it, I always go and add mustard as soon as I get home. I mean, I'm sure they could put mustard on it there, but again, like, they want to charge for everything. So... Getting a little extra squirt of mustard, you know, as soon as I get home is easy. Mine is a 10-piece and a medium fry, LOL. Oh, like 10-piece nuggets? <coughs> yes, with ranch and buffalo. Ah, okay. Quickly! Okay. Okay, time to get moving! We also ended up getting nuggets, um, today. Just so the, uh... The, the fur babies could have some snacks when we um, when we got back. So got a 20 piece on that because you really can't beat the price on it. Even Maddox, my cat snubs so many foods, lol. Oh yeah, Maddox will eat him up.
<coughs> our last dog, Millie, she was a foodie. And, um... Maddox took after her. He's, he's not as greedy as she was. Okay, that means I gotta hurry. No! Can I ride them, maybe? What? Oh, it was one of the bees. Damn it all. <sighs> if I could just got that gear and then, like, dug down, I could have got health. <sighs> um... Millie loves seaweed. If I opened up one of the little, like, snack seaweed packets, she'd immediately be there. Aw, oh, seaweed, that is so cute. Uh, she loved Vegemite, too. She had a weight problem. She was a rescue, and... When we got her, she was... Then, we suspect that whoever was her previous owner had starved her, basically. We, we, we think it was actually worse than that. We think that they, they bred her and then tried to turn her into a fighting dog. And when she wouldn't do that, they probably went and used her as, as bait to try and train others. That s awful. Because <coughs> there are certain things that make sense. Like, okay, dogs afraid of the vacuum cleaner. A lot of pets are. That's that's fine. But she was afraid of ceiling fans. Like, she goes into a room, the ceiling fan was running, you'd see her constantly looking at it like, is it gonna get me? Really? What? I don't understand. Why is this a threat? But obviously it, it bothered her. Um... And she absolutely knew what uh, firearms were, and she was she did not like them. Um, she saw them, and she was just like, mm -mm, no, no. Um, uh, and squeaky toys. She was horrified of squeaky toys. I mean, she wasn't much for toys in the first place, but just food. <laughs> 
but squeaky toys. Um, we actually we we pulled the squeaker out Poor of a Millie. out of a toy, and we um that that was her punishment. She was so afraid of him. We pulled the squeaker out of a toy, and if she was misbehaving, we would just blow on it, and she would like run in the back room and be like, "No, I'm done. I'm done." Um. One and a half health, good enough. Okay, it's cool that you can actually stop it. It doesn't have to be a uh, complete roulette. Not the bees! Um, sorry, I digress. The point was, the only things she really enjoyed were treats. And, um, she was always hungry. And we think that's because she was malnourished and, uh, was always trying to get whatever food she could. Alright, we'll take the full health, thank you. Uh, and we'll go for the beetles, yeah. That'll do. <coughs> so we tried to make her happy, and we would give her treats a lot, but that, yeah, she had a weight problem. Um. This feels, mm-hmm. Um, so we basically tried to make her special treats that she could enjoy, um, that, that wouldn't affect her, her weight. Damn it. Fucking ceiling spikes. Um, and one of the things we put in it was Vegemite, because we knew that she, en we knew that she enjoyed it. Vegemite and carrots and sweet potatoes. That is so nice of you, though. Well, we wanted some way to give her treats and still make her happy, but that wouldn't, like, keep her turning into a sausage dog, which she kind of was. Um, yeah, sweet potatoes, carrots, or parsnips, depending. Vegemite, uh, fish sauce, and uh, beef base. Plus a little bit of egg and flour to act as a binder. <coughs> okay.
mean, I've only taken one tick of damage, so I think we're gonna go for the item. Alright, that's cool. I'll take that. Uh, and we'll go for the grubs. down my resources I'm not earning enough gems to keep uh, respawning at this level but that's okay we're only gonna go for another 40 minutes probably anyway unless I'm feeling uh, exceptionally zealous and then we'll um, we'll try for more glass egg and a glass key the egg. Great. So my girlfriend and I have um, started working our way through the Hobbit trilogy. The Peter Jackson Hobbit trilogy. Have you seen those? You love Hobbit. I have, I love them. I'm not sure how I feel about them yet. I mean, like, when I originally heard they were making a Hobbit movie, I was like, oh yeah, cool, I went to go see it, and I didn't realize it was going to be a trilogy. And I was familiar with the, the old uh, Bash... Oh, fuck. Hold on. Bashki. Uh, Bashki. Bashki. Animator. The, the guy who did the, the animated Hobbit film. Um, I was familiar with that. I thought it was Bashki. Yes, Ralph. Bashki. Oh, it's Bashki. I'm sorry. I thought it was Bashki. Um, <coughs> I was familiar with those. But, um... And I had read the book. I know there are a lot of things that that got left out, so I was like, "Oh yeah, you know, they could take they could take everything from the book, and if they're putting it in like a three-hour movie, great, they can fit everything in finally." And then this other stuff started coming up that I was totally unfamiliar with, and I was like, what "The hell is this shit?" And then the film ended, you know, right when it introduced Smog, and I was like, oh, no. So I was, I was a little, uh, oh, this feels like a trap. Yeah, no, I'm leaving.
because I hadn't realized they were planning on turning The Hobbit into a trilogy. And I was like, they didn't need to do that. Just let me get the- Ah, oh, fuck! I can't get the gear now. Damn it. Okay, um... Oh, I can use the key to go in here, and then at least I don't need to worry about the drill. Oh, does that mean I can't get over that barrier now? That oh, wait. There's screws at the bottom, so I can dig there. Okay. Ooh, glad I did. Yeah, that won't give me the loft I need to get up there, but... Ow! Okay. But yeah, um... <coughs> uh, don't want to deal with him, sorry. I'll take the extra treasure though, that's cool. Holes. Good riddance. <sighs> anyway, um... It's been interesting. It's been interesting looking at, like, you know, what was in the originals, what wasn't. Oh, I missed the jump. Fuck. That means I'm gonna be going down there with only one gear. I'm really used to hoping the, the uh, Gastronomole is around to help. Oh, that was a big old do not want. Oh, it looks like he might be. Okay, cool. That might just save my bacon. Save my fatty backside! Looks like it'll be it. Let's just hope it's not a trap room at the same time. A little bit. Not too bad. It's apple season, if you please. The greatest treasures grow on trees! Yes. But now you're hungry, must be sad. You've eaten every meal I've created! Thank you, Gastronomo. Cheers. Mm. Well, that's weird. <coughs> Excuse me. That hurt a lot! A lot, a lot! I blew something up. 
so I guess that's cool. And here comes the drill. Alright, better hurry. Fuck! That was a dirty trick! suck. Mostly because they just keep respawning. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, it's interesting to see all the things they've worked together for the Hobbit trilogy, but it's still a little bit odd to me. Also a little goofy. I don't know if we're watching the extended version or not. There are definitely segments where the, the CGI looks unfinished. Like, it's poorly edited together at some points. You have this clear outline of something, or it looks like it's almost video game graphics. I'm going, what? Is this something that was used as like a stand in, or like, the, you know, a, a extended cut footage that got used? Or was it originally in there that they just pieced in after the fact? I don't know. It's just weird to me. Maybe it's even just that, like, you know, Peter Jackson was like, well, uh, you know, I'm, uh, uh, everybody, everybody's going to watch this anyway. They, they want to see The Hobbit, so we'll, we just don't need to try as hard. Like, most of it is fine, okay? To be clear, most of it is fine. But there are just these certain points where it looks so bad, and I'm like... I can't even afford any of it. Fuck that.
Like, it doesn't look bad, oh. bad. Okay, but it, it, it looks like, it looks like sci-fi original TV show, like, level. Like, you know, for, for this franchise and, and how, how much notoriety it has, it should not have this level of quality to it. Like, when they're going down the river... Um... From the Wood Elves. <coughs> uh... Yeah, let's go that way. Fuck the bees! Um... There was one point where the orcs are chasing them along the riverbank. And the orcs all have, like, outlines on them. And the lighting doesn't match up, and I'm going... Who okayed this? But again, it's only just like a shot here or there. It's not most of the movie. Which is why I'm wondering, like, maybe we have the extended cut and they, they you know, basically said, Let, let's just, you know, stretch it out a bit and stick in the, the, the mostly finished CGI we have. God damn it. <sighs> why do I suck so much tonight? Or another point where you have like I think it was Legolas on a horse, like riding down to the bridge out of River Town. I thought I was fast enough, I was wrong! I think he's chasing after an orc. And he like... <coughs> the, the, the camera like kind of pans to the side. And it's almost like two-dimensional images of the horses just like slowly shrinking uh, in, in this 3D environment. I'm going... Mm. Again, it's not awful. It's just one of these things that's like... That just didn't seem like a great choice.
<laughs> I don't see any other way I could have gone and got that, uh, that gear. And that kind of sucks! Only 15 minutes left at this point, honestly. I'm not, I'm not up to doing another hour of this. We're gonna hit that four hour mark and then that's gonna be it. Full health, but two hits counts for a lot. That's okay. Bug skeletons, get the hell out of here. <sighs> I don't think that'll be enough to save me, but it's something. Just bash the wall. That would that would have worked fine. That would have worked fine.
nice of them to give us a, a gear for free. Glass egg. Good enough. Oh, wait a minute. That's my digging arm. Took my digging on. I think those are instant death spikes. The other ones hurt. Those kill. So that's a that's a big uh, no go no no thanks for me. I don't like the scoop boots because they make you move so fast it's hard to hard to um, handle what you're doing. Like that. Like that. Okay. We'll do like one or two more runs, I think, and then that's gonna be it. Cause we're hitting that four hour mark and I'm getting I'm getting a little bit angry with this Right back. Okay, okay, Chess. If you're not back before before I call it a night, then um, you know, that, fuck. I will not take offense. And neither should you. find out what's behind it now. Big about a boom.
And nothing up there. Oh, don't tell me. If there was a gear up there or any treasure, it nuked it. That, okay. So... Okay. My arm's hurting on top of everything else, so I'm just kind of... Just kind of not great right now. And that's all right. Who can we raid? Who can we raid? Um, EJ. Uh, oh, EJ or Gibbs Tweet. So Gibbs Tweet. He's doing Nuzlocke on Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green, and I think this is his third attempt at it. So, uh, you know, as always, no obligation to stick around. At least pop in, say hi, be polite about it. And, um, yeah, tomorrow's going to be D&D. Starting at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And then, um, continuing on with more Shovel Knight Dig after that. Probably. Depends on we're playing with if we do get friends then it'll be uh halo 4 okay with that take care hope it was fun and i'll be back soon sorry that the, everything is so abrupt i really need to get more polish on my wrap-up screen oh well Edin and Deez are coming over the raids. Welcome on in. You can, you can now. I just went through an.